Mama Cat. George? Hello, my fellow sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and I want to welcome you to Storytime Sunday. Today, I have with me quite a few little souls. I think I have one, two, three, four, five little souls in this video, but they're kind of like a Where's Waldo. So the one that you can see right now is my little Picasso. I think you just saw Cody running back and forth. Cody's laughing if you guys heard that. I have Jersey right here. She's doing that thing she does where she's like, oh, is that a camera? I don't want to be in the video, no. So that's what Jersey is doing. Message on my phone. I have my phone because I want to read something to you guys. Anyway, check this out. I have Sandy. She's my dog. She's right there. She is the best pet in our house. Just saying. And then I have Harry. He's probably looking out the window in depression, waiting for my sister to come home, as usual. So, today we are going to be talking about a Picasso story, which is pretty cool because Picasso has been well behaved, but also a Cody story. Cody, would you like to show yourself in the video? Oh, can you not chew that? Thank you. You see Cody's attitude? Excuse me. Hey, that is not good behavior. You a good bird? You want to step up? Come on, step up. No? Okay. So yes, Cody is in this video too. Cody, do you want to come say hi? Cody is so angry right now. I have no idea why. Well, actually, I have every idea why. <laughs> Cody wanted to do some bad things in the bathroom and he was running around and he was trying to like get himself under a drawer to chew the wall and I wouldn't let him, so he's very angry about that. And I just had a situation with the dogs outside. Oh my God, it was so embarrassing. It was the worst thing ever. You know, I should probably tell you guys this. I'm going to tell you a quick dog story. So I've got two dogs, Harry and Sandy. They're quite well-behaved dogs. They let me know when anyone's coming to the door. So someone was coming to my door, and I was really excited. So I went downstairs to open the door, but the dogs just bolted. And I thought that the dogs were going to run to my friends and just be like, oh, hey, how are you? But instead, every single person that walks their dogs nicely on a leash was outside today, including this one guy who has his dog extremely well-trained, like a large dog. The guy's Russian and he's very strict. And if any of our dogs run outside by accident, he loses his mind. Like if the gardener leaves the gate open or something like that, it's happened before. Because he's training his dog and his dog is well-trained and I understand that. There shouldn't be unleashed dogs. But for whatever reason, accidents happen. And for some reason, this guy is always outside. And one day he got in an argument with my sister when our dog was simply jumping into the car with us. So it wasn't supposed to be a big deal, but it turned into a big deal. Anyway, I don't like confrontation and I'm at home. I open the door, my dogs bolt and I go, hey, hey, thinking they're gonna come back. And the lady that walks three little dogs and she's also a very serious lady is outside and my dog runs up to them and my dog is a little bit bigger. He's not big, but Harry, he's a little bit bigger. And I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I gotta catch two and Sandy wants to run into the road. And then there's this other lady who's really nice and she tries to help. And and I'm like so embarrassed and in the distance I see that Russian guy walking away like this house is ridiculous you know you could just imagine that that's what he's saying <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself ah did you guys do that today where's Harry Harry where are you Harry's not here to defend himself so that was my moment outside I was so embarrassed because I always want to be a really good neighbor and I want to make sure that everyone knows that I leash my dogs when they go for walks and things like that but I was not expecting the entire dog community to be outside at that moment. I literally thought they were just excited about who was coming to the door, and they were, but it's just like they went loose and it was insane. Before we get into our bird story of the day, now that you found out some dog stories. So my dogs stare out the window all day and they guard and decide who's coming and who's going. Can you hear that? This is already gonna be a hard video to make. 
I know it because there's so many birds in here. Well, there's three, three birds and two dogs. So before we get on to story of the day, let's do the engage not caged bird of the day. Who do you guys think it's gonna be? Our engage not caged birdie of the day is Trooper. Look at this cute little cockatiel. I have to read you what Trooper's companion wrote to me. Her name and Instagram page is abby.ohara2006 or abby.ohara2006, however she pronounces it. I'm sure she will let us know in the comments. But I want to read you this because it's so cute and I want to touch on this. It says, Hello, my name is Trooper and I hope to be the cutest little bird of hashtag engage not caged by Marlene McCohen, who is my mom's absolute idol. And I may not have the brightest of colors, but I have the brightest heart. Hopefully Marlene McCohen will think I'm cute and pick me. And very good luck to all the others who wish the same thing. Are you kidding me? You do not have to have bright colors for me to know, Trooper, that you are just gorgeous. Your little eyes are so beautiful and your white cheeks. It's so cute. I always love the cockatiels that don't have the orange cheeks. It's so special. Your bird is so beautiful, Abby. Thank you so much for the message. I love Trooper. Trooper doesn't have to have any bright colors at all for me to love him. I can see his bright heart. It's so, so sweet. You guys know that my first bird was a cockatiel, so I love cockatiels. I love the smell of them, especially. That's why I call you guys snippers. If any of you are watching this video on my channel as your first video ever, and you were wondering, a sniffer is somebody addicted to birds that loves to smell them. Kind of like those people that love puppy breath, but birds smell so much better because they smell like baby powder and flowers and fruits and just the cutest things in the world and Amazon smell like musk. Anyway, with that being said, congratulations to Trooper, the gorgeous, gorgeous cockatiel. Thank you so much for tagging me and sending me a comment, Abby. I really appreciate it. If you want your bird to be featured on Engage Not Caged or on this YouTube channel, please follow me on Instagram at Marlene McCohen and follow Engage Not Caged on Instagram. Tag me, hashtag me, whatever you need to do to get my attention. Love seeing your birds. I can never see enough birds. That is a fact. Speaking of cute birds, let's talk about naughty birds, like my birds. Right, Cody, are you naughty? I swear he just nodded. I wish you guys could see that. And he honked and he also yawned. Here is our story time Sunday, only like probably eight minutes into the video. As you guys know, Cody is a rescue that I got. What did I get him now around Christmas time? You guys were all involved in it. We wanna see Cody. And Cody has been having a good time. He came around really well, but Cody is getting bullied by my Picasso. This is my Picasso. If you watch my videos, you know that Picasso is an angel. He just sits here and acts cute and listens to his mommy and he's the best bird in the world. So I bet you could not imagine what I'm telling you, which is that Cody gets bullied by Picasso. First of all, Cody, you're not gonna stay on my head today because I remember the last time you did this noise in my video, you didn't stop when I talked. So you're gonna go back. We don't mind not seeing you for a few minutes. Or you could just fly wherever you want. Yeah, there's a vacuum going on downstairs. That's happening. I got my eye on you, Cody. Here's the story, just to sum it up. Picasso is in love with Jersey. Jersey is the cutest bird in the world. Picasso follows her all over the place. Those two are kinda like an item. 
Cody is the new bird that has been getting a lot of attention and a lot of love because he's essentially the reincarnation of my African great George. Or at least I think so, and a lot of you guys think so if you've watched my video on the true unbelievable story of Cody. I swear it's pretty convincing. So George has now come back into my life, but I don't consider him George. I really consider him Cody. I'm not that insane, but yeah, sometimes I just hug him and I totally forget that he ever left to me. Okay, now I'm sounding insane. Anyway, Cody has been getting a lot of love and he's completely filled this void that I was having. Picasso knows it. Cody also came in a carrier cage and they promised me that they would give me Cody's cage, but they didn't. So Cody had to stay in Picasso's old cage. Picasso doesn't care too much about the cage because he likes to be with the jersey in the big cage hanging out. But Picasso knows that that's his cage and likes it. And I use that cage as a spare cage for Picasso to come up and sleep with me at night if he wants. Or if I think a certain bird needs a little extra TLC and I wanna hang out with him some more, but I don't wanna bring him up and then bring him all the way down, then I'll bring him upstairs and let them sleep in that cage. Picasso has been down with all of this until Cody came into the picture. Cody came into the picture and didn't have his own stuff. I wasn't expecting to rescue Cody, so he had to borrow Picasso's cage. I think Picasso was aware of that. I don't don't think he liked that too much. Eventually we got two new cages for Cody, one small one and one really big one. So Cody has this one cage that he hangs out in and it's Cody's cage. But Picasso knows that this is a new cage and it wasn't his. So I can't even get Picasso to hang out in his own cage in general because he wants to be with Jersey. But Picasso, I think, still wants his own cage that he knows is his down there. So he saw Cody get a new cage. I know you guys are probably thinking to yourself, wow, this is a lot of like five-year-old jealousy going on here, like as if they're kids. That's what I'm trying to convey to you. A lot of this psyche you have to decipher when you have a bird. Cody and I just, oh, I just love him so much. He's the naughtiest bird in the world, but I love him so much. Picasso is secretly my favorite. I don't want any of them to hear that. Picasso knows that, I think all of you know that. Picasso doesn't even talk and I just love him so much. He's just so perfect. However, Picasso has been causing a ton of trouble lately. This guy, yes, this innocent looking bird has been causing so much trouble. This is what he does. Wherever Cody is, he flies over to Cody, Cody gets nervous, and then Cody flies somewhere else. Cody will fly to the couch, and I have to run over there and go to the couch and make sure to get him off before he could chew it, because you guys know birds can destroy anything. Well, this is now an exercise that I wasn't planning on doing 50 times a day. However, so I'm literally burning calories chasing this bird that has been chased all the way to the couch. I'm going to get Cody all day long. And I'm like, oh man, but you know it's worth it because Cody's so cute. And then I put Picasso away and I give him like a five minute timeout and I'm like, don't bully Cody. Guess what Picasso does now? Picasso bullies Cody, Cody flies to the couch, then Picasso flies to the couch, which is kind of convenient because then Cody flies off the couch and I don't have to run to the couch trying to save Cody. Cody will often come back to me, except then the two of them are flying in circles all around the house until one lands somewhere and then Cody lands somewhere else and usually I have to go get him. Cody, no, I see what you're doing. Speaking of couches, Cody just wanted to eat my bench that he was sitting on. Well, actually the leather pillow on the bench, didn't you naughty bird? Yes, you did. I'm not this flexible. I'm holding my knee up just to get like Cody in the picture, but it reminds me of how bad I am at yoga. Anyway, so the other day, Cody lands on my head. Not unusual, he does this all the time. Except he does not want to get off my head. So when I go to get him off of my head, he bites me. And usually he does the attempted bite, it's a press. It doesn't really hurt, but then if he was to press harder, he could 
But in this case, he bit me hard. He didn't draw blood or anything, but enough for me to be like, oh my God. And I reacted. I shouldn't have reacted so much. I didn't react enough for him to like fall off my head. I was just like, ow. And what happens but Picasso comes flying out of nowhere and flies and makes Cody get off my head and then lands on my shoulder. And I'm like, wait a minute, did you just save me? I swear, I think you just saved me. Not like that Cody is the most dangerous bird or anything, but Picasso heard my owl, flew over, and knew that he would get Cody off of my head. And I felt so loved by him. And it's so funny because all this time I was like, stop bullying Cody. And of course I don't want him to bully Cody, but I was like, you need to stop. You need to stop it. It was like the most annoying thing. And then when he saved me, my little hero, I was like, oh, maybe you just know that you're the biggest angel. Oh my God, he's so cute, how cute. Guys, by the way, I wanna show you something. His beak fits in like my eye corner. Do not try this at home, children. Do not try this at home. Nobody try this at home. Picasso is a one of a kind bird. But like, I love doing this, fitting his beak in my eye. See, like that. It fits perfectly. Don't try this at home. So you see how I get distracted whenever Picasso is mentioned in a video? I can't, like, I bet a lot of the cuts, parts of this video that you don't see is just me stopping and sniffing Picasso, being like, anyway, this is really cute, but... And then five minutes of that that I have to cut out so you guys don't see that I totally zoned out and wandered off. Anyway, mesmerized by my little bird, and I was, thinking to myself, is it really possible that he came to save me or was it just a coincidence? And then I found out. Because you have to remember, he's been bullying Cody all this time. And every time Cody lands on my head, Picasso will come and make Cody leave or Picasso will try to get Cody out of the picture. So I wasn't sure if that was that until the craziest thing happened. Rocky, was on top of his cage in his very territorial position. You guys know Rocky has a history of aggression. You guys also know that I am not Rocky's person. I can hold him, I can pet him, but every so often if he's on his cage and if he's higher than me, and if George is around, Rocky is like gonna pretend that he wants nothing to do with me. So here's what happened. I go to give Rocky something and Rocky takes it and he's fine and he's up very, very high, and all the birds are out, and I go to pick something up and give it back to Rocky, and he swipes at me. You know, he just does that like bird, like angry thing for no reason, and suddenly Picasso flies out of nowhere and starts circling Rocky and flies away. And I panic because I don't want Picasso to land anywhere near Rocky. And he landed on Rocky's cage. And I'm like, oh my God, Rocky is gonna like pick up Picasso and murder him right now. In two seconds, I got Picasso. And anyway, Picasso flies like a butterfly. Like in two seconds, he would have flown away from Rocky. But still, I did the panic and I'm like, no, my baby, and I picked him up real quickly. But then I realized this little guy, this little guy was gonna go to battle for me with the biggest bird we've got. This bird does not care. He is my little hero. So as much as I didn't appreciate him being a bully, I realize that it definitely comes from love. And I love it because he loves Jersey and he loves me. He will also go to great lengths to protect Jersey, which is so cute. One day when I was vacuuming, Jersey was not into the vacuum. Cause you know, I was vacuuming around their cages and things like that. Well, they came out of the cage, her and Picasso to be on top. Picasso saw the vacuum and flew away. I'm like, that's fine. Jersey's on top of the cage. I'm vacuuming, she seems fine. Next thing you know, Jersey starts screaming. She doesn't want the vacuum at all. 
So what happens? Picasso, who was scared of the vacuum, flies back to be next to her to see if she's okay. Like, I know he's scared of the vacuum because he flew in two seconds. He was able to do that. She's not able to fly. She just can walk away and she could have walked away, but instead she was just angry. So she was screaming at it in like classic cockatoo fashion. And even though this little guy was scared, he wanted to see what was going on. Ugh, I love him so much. It's so crazy. So that is my story of the day and a peek into Picasso's sweet little personality. Also, his bullying personality, which we do not condone bullying. Those of you watching this who still go to school, please, please, please do not bully people and stand up for people getting bullied. It's really important. It's the difference between an amazing person and someone that just lets things happen. Don't be that person. I know that's kind of random, but bullying is very, very against my nature. And my first film that I wrote and directed with my sister was about bullying. So it's very important to me. So please go out and be amazing human beings. Stand up for what is right. Love animals, love birds. Birds. That's the most important thing. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to see your birds, tag me on Instagram or join my Facebook group called Parrot Station. We have almost 28,000 members. What the heck? This is amazing. I think there was a time years ago when I used to dream of having a parent group and then I never thought of it while I was making my YouTube and then I made one one day and it just has grown so much so thank you guys all so much for being a part of it I love knowing your birds because I was thinking to myself I sit here and I talk and you guys know my birds but all your birds deserve to be known and I know a lot of them. I love them so much. I'm waiting for George the Hyacinth Macaw. That's one thing. And then there's Danny the Cockatiel. That's from Instagram. Can't forget that because, you know, my brother's name is Danny. And there's so many of you that I just love and watch all day long. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this community. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. These are amazing, amazing things to help me keep going and help me keep offering you guys stories, fun, films, whatever. I love you guys. Bye. Would you like to say bye? Or are you still grumpy? Say bye. Ooh.